I'm the National Projects Manager with the Irish Kidney Association and I've been in the role in 2005. And basically the Irish Kidney Association uh, not only professionally but personally played, has played a huge role in my life because um, in late 2000, myself and my wife, we were living in Zimbabwe at the time. I was working as a volunteer development worker and my wife was finally diagnosed with end-stage kidney disease. And um, being a typical Irish man, I phoned my mammy and said, Mammy, help. What do I do? Um, my, my, my wife is dying in front of me and um, the health service here is not great. Now, happily, when uh, myself and my siblings were teenagers, my mother had picked up uh, organ donor cards for us and she had remembered that the Irish Kidney Association were behind the donor cards. So um, we got in touch with the Kidney Association while we were still overseas and they pointed us in the right direction. They pointed us towards Beaumont. They um, gave us the contact details for one of the ne nephrologists. So as when we arrived back to Ireland, we hit the ground running. We didn't have to wait and wonder and try and figure out. The Irish Kidney Association had taken all of that worry off of us. And um, not having lived in Ireland for many years before this, I had no support network bar, bar my immediate family. I had no job that I was going back to, so I was unemployed with a very ill wife who had never lived in Ireland before, and it was scary. But the Irish Kidney Association were there for us. In simple things like a, a little bit of money towards paying the uh, the petrol for bringing my wife in and out uh, for dialysis in the early days to to just kind of I suppose taking some of the the lived experience concerns away from us that they're saying yeah it's it's a it's a new reality but it can be a good reality. So we carried on for a few years. I got a job uh, working with adults with intellectual disability, working in sports development. And then in 2005, an opportunity opened to um, take on uh, the Irish uh, Transplant and Dialysis Sports Programme and uh, do some other things with the IKA. And um, I think really the peer support that comes from uh, the association is is critical it's there are people there who have the shared experience they understand what you're going through whether you're like my wife a patient or in my role as a carer i can talk to other carers i can learn from other patients that it just helps us cope with uh, what what is our reality and um i think really the Organ donor card is very much the public face of the Irish Kidney Association and it is so important that people have the organ donation conversation with their families so as in the event of them being a potential donor, not only are they giving the gift of life to others, they um, are leaving a legacy for their family. Many donor families have described it as the one bright light in a very dark time. But on top of that, the services that the Irish Kidney Association offers to patients, be it counselling, support in getting a holiday dialysis, the sports programme, which I'm responsible for myself, or many other advocacy uh, roles or patient support, um, the renal support centre here in Beaumont, where, where, where we're sitting now, um, these all take funds. And we have a fantastic network of branches around the country, 25 branches, and 75% of our funding comes uh, from the public. And so it is important that the public not only say yes to organ donation, but if they have the opportunity that they show support, so as the Irish Kidney Association can continue providing these frontline services uh, to families like my own, and just make life that little bit easier and a little less stressful.